Good morning. Welcome to Village in Motion. Today is Wednesday, February 5th, 2020, and today is Dining Services Call-In Show Day. And we have two guests with us today, Executive Chef Michael Ritt. Good morning, good morning. And our one of our registered dietitians, Mary Smith. Hi. And Michael's going to cook for us today, yeah. I understand. We, we decided, you know, today is, uh, Mary's going to elaborate a lot more on it, but we decided to, to since February is Heart Healthy Month, want to take advantage of our call-in show mm -hmm. and do a little demo with one of our healthy choice menu selections. It's the Norwegian salmon, and it's a very popular dish. We've run it in many of the venues. And the reason it's a healthy choice is because it follows the American Heart Association recommendations Correct. for, um, which so, Mary's gonna go over for our recipes. Before we start, can I, I always forget, yeah. to give the telephone oh, number for the call-in. So let's do that. It's 703 on the screen, 663-3333. So if you have questions for Mary or Michael, please call in, we'll work it in around the cooking. I'm sorry, Mary, please go ahead. Oh, so we're really excited to be here today. So yeah, it's still a call-in show. We're still gonna go over all the events that dining has going on this month, but we did wanna mix it up a little bit because it is Heart Health Month, sure. which is very exciting. And I think that, you know, at Greenspring, we do so much to promote heart health for our residents. And salmon is one of the best ways to do that for your body. It's always available in uh, all of our venues. Every day Every you can day. find salmon so in one on of our campus. venues, uh, served numerous different ways. And, you know, to make a plug for signature dining, if you're sitting in one of the signature dining rooms and you're having a salmon, say, with bourbon sauce, and you don't, you're not a fan of the bourbon sauce, you want some on the side, or if you want extra, you can always do that in a signature dining venue. Or if you want it just plain, with a little lemon, plain, you can have grilled, that. grilled, sure. If they want it steamed, they can do that as well. It, the, one of the greatest things about salmon is you can prepare it so many ways. So we're just going to prepare it one way. Um, he's going to do it. I'm, I, I don't, <laughs> I'm don't. i not going to cook. <laughs> I'll help everyone by not cooking, so, actually. <laughs> the recipe we're doing today is our Norwegian salmon. It's um, our salmon. It's marinated with honey, lemon juice, a little garlic, coriander, cumin, paprika, Parsley, a little white wine. We marinate that for at least six hours. Usually do it overnight. And we cook it right in the marinade, serve it with the marinade. It's got a little of, you know, the sweet from the honey. You got a little of the tart from the lemon juice. All the spices add up, make it really nice, finish it off. You know, when they're cooking it, you know, for television, we put it all together already. Mm -hmm. right. But, you know, finish off with a little white wine. It's a really nice light dish. Um, flavorful. So I think you're, everybody here is going to be very happy when we do this. Good. Yeah, we're going to, the studio is going to start smelling really good soon. Yeah, so what Michael has here, he already has the salmon marinated, but we do have some salmon, like what you, so you can see what it looks mm -hmm. like without any marinade on it yet. Um, but he's going to start putting the marinated version like on it. Looking at it like makes you realize how large a salmon is. Yes. What a big right. fish. Yeah, like hearing that sound. So while he does that, I do want to talk about some of the nutrition benefits of salmon. Okay. So I already started by saying that salmon is one of the best things that you can eat for your heart. But why is that? So salmon is very high in omega-3 fatty acids. And, and what, what's an omega-3 fatty acid? They are an essential nutrient for our body. And when it is something is labeled as an essential nutrient, that means that our body does not produce it itself because our body can produce a lot of things naturally but if it's an essential ingredient that means we need to eat it in our diet for our body to have it and we are we need omega-3 fatty acids to function to function what what does an omega-3 fatty acid do okay. for me? so omega-3 fatty acids have epa and epa and dha in them and dha is really important especially when you're younger to for brain development and brain function so if you were to go through a grocery store and see infant formula, you'll see that it's fortified with DHA because there's so much research showing that it's so critical for brain function. So even though salmon has a lot of heart health benefits, there's also a lot of cognitive benefits. Um, there was actually a recent study in 2016 showing that um, the DHA found in omega-3 fatty acids can um, slow down the aging process by 13%. Wow. Which is a very high percentage. That's so, big. Yeah, so if you know, we want to preserve our uh, mental health, our mind health, I should say, um, omega-3 fatty acids are a great way to do that. And you can find it's such a high quality source of that in salmon. But what other sources of omega-3 fatty acids are there? Uh, avocados are also a really high source, okay. so that's great. And then you can get some in nuts as well. Ground nuts, tree nuts? Yeah, both. both. Okay. <laughs> so we'll do that. And then 
So omega-3 fatty acids, not only do they help with brain development, but they help lower, uh, reduce inflammation throughout the body, but also specifically in your arteries. So when you're talking about heart health, having that throughout your body will be crucial to prevent buildup, plaque buildup, strokes, heart attacks. So it just, it's almost like it just keeps giving and giving to you, sure. you know? So to get the maximum benefit of this, you do want to have salmon about twice a week. Okay. Or fish twice a week, I should say, is the best way to make sure you're maximizing on that, those, those nutrient benefits. So we can see Michael is cooking away. It smells really good in here. If only we could send the smell out to the right? television. I'm, I'm looking here at the, at the instructions in, in the actual recipe, which is mm -hmm. the recipe that, that our chefs follow. And I'm, what I'm curious about here is the, the temperatures. You're, and it says to pan fry it, which of course we're doing, and and then bake it following. But in this way, you're doing it totally in the pan. Right. We obviously don't have an oven here in the studio, sure. but what we'll do is they'll sear it, throw it in the oven to finish it off. And uh, you know, some people like people order salmon just like they can order steak. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like their fish cooked all the way. Some people like their fish cooked, you know, still medium, medium rare. So you'll see that. Um, in, in, in the venue, some people are like, I don't like my fish cooked. But the recipe says that, that it should have a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees. Correct, and you'll see all of our staff, they'll all have um, thermometers on them uh -huh. on the line. And what we're going to do is we're going to just, just for, so you guys have to get all the, everything. <laughs> Oops. Ooh. We're going to put a little bit of sauce in here and just heat it up. So that's some of the leftover marinade? Yeah, we're going to heat it up. Okay. Get Create a little extra there. dressing to go over the yeah. salmon. So you started to say that, that all of our, our cooks uh, and all our All of chefs, our chefs have thermometers. That's what You'll, you have my on little your, yellow, your yellow one? Right. And, and we make sure, and part of the training we do in the venues is to make sure that they have an understanding of um, proper cooking temperatures. And also just to make sure that you know, our big thing is we want to provide you, you know, it's a dining experience. We want to make sure that also we are cooking the food properly and mm -hmm. to, your, to your liking. So that's a big thing that we do. So know? at least 145 degrees, we're sure. Correct. If, let's say someone says, oh, I want my salmon rare. We hmm. really tend to and like stay say, away from cooking food rare, one, because of our resident population, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, and two, for the protection. Okay. You, know, you want to cook. You know, you, you want to make sure that you cook the food properly so that any, you know, items that you're, you're cooking to the right proper temperature to avoid those contaminations, not right. those can, but to make sure that it's cooked at the right temperature for, for safety. We want it to be safe. And for health reasons. Yeah. And that's, you know, then that's exactly why I asked the question. Especially, we always say always there's good. a difference between ground beef and whole muscle meat. Ground beef, you're going to cook to a higher internal temperature because it's been processed, it's been ground. Also, muscle meat, you can cook to a lower temperature, uh, you know, an internal of like 150, where hamburger you want more like a 160. So you have to take that into consideration as well. But the whole muscle meat, as I understand it, is because if, if there were, were germs, you know, not a, that's a vague term, on the outside, it's once you cut it, those, those, those germs are Correct, and through the, the process and process, where you take ground beef, it's going into facility, it's being ground. Right. So that's the reason you want to cook it to a higher temperature to make sure that you're cooking out, you know, any, any foodborne items that could have been in there. Right. But again, and I always stress this, the one thing here, not just the Green Spring Erickson, we're very diligent yes. on our food handling processes. You won't find sushi here, although you could find sushi with right. raw salmon on it, but not of here. How we receive it, how we store it, washing our vegetables and the antimicrobial, how we, yes. you know, prepare it and using different color cutting boards right. and the gloves and the cutting gloves and, and the sanitary gloves. Nothing is taken for granted, and we use every method available to make sure that we provide a safe, sanitary, healthy environment for our staff, and that makes sure that the food's prepared that way. In other words, if you recommend to us that we eat a food prepared a particular way and maybe steer us away from another way, it's for our own safety. Absolutely. Correct. Yeah. So when it comes to foodborne illnesses, older adult population, pregnant women and infants are most at risk for um, becoming, they're more sensitive, more 
uh, likely to catch those and mm -hmm. have a more serious effect to it. So again, that's why we'll cook things to the recommended internal temperature, uh, even though you can technically get like raw salmon in sushi. So if you were to go to a sushi bar, you could definitely mm -hmm. do that and it would still taste good, but you know, for this population, it you know, it's a little bit more risky to do that. And okay. When you go out to restaurants, you always see, and you'll see them here too, the disclaimer at the bottom of the menu, that eating undercooked or raw product mm -hmm. is not recommended for certain individuals. Yes. So it's very important. Good. So should we taste? Yeah. So we just, I just found out, I guess you knew this, that you've never had salmon before. I've never had yeah. salmon before. So this I is, really hope this you like it. Stepping out of my comfort zone. Do you mind a little lemon? I don't mind a little lemon. Here's your fork. Here's my fork. I'm glad that we're going to have this nice recorded to, for history. <laughs> and We always have to be, you know, So do you not like fish? Is there a reason you've no, never had it before? I grew up in the Midwest. We never had fish. My parents would, you know, slaughter a half a, a beef animal. And we had a lot of steak and a lot of beef, and I always thought that, gee, we never get to have chicken or anything else because we're poor. And I didn't realize yeah. it was because that's okay. just what we had. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and fish was just, I think the only fish that ever came along were maybe some fish sticks. Oh, wow. Frozen fish sticks. You know, sticks. I think that would be so fun to do a show where we find out foods that residents haven't had uh -huh. before. Like common foods, like salmon. I feel like that's something. You I would think just think common. that anyone would have it. Okay, you know? here I go. Here we go. <laughs> that was a little the charred. Part. That was a little on the edge, the tail. <laughs> no, that was also the cough top in my mouth. Oh, that's pretty that's good. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So by eating this, Susan, you're helping your heart, helping um, your brain stay high and functioning. Mm -hmm. And something that I mentioned to you right before the show started is that there's been a really high... Um, interest in mental health recently and so there's a lot of like baby developmental stages of research trying to understand what foods can help us with our mood and mental health in general and they're saying that omega-3 they're seeing so far mm -hmm. that omega-3 fatty acids can help reduce depression so overall you're helping your heart you're helping your brain and you can help your mood so, so salmon is a good choice yeah salmon is a great and now choice. that I've tasted it the first time I'm, I'm in I hope we won you yeah. over <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about me over, but I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. the one thing, you know, we talked about is how popular salmon is, and I think we were talking before we went live that we figured out that we probably order upwards of a ton a month mm -hmm. of salmon between all four of the production kitchens because they get three, you know, they get multiple deliveries a month, and I mean multiple deliveries a week, and as everybody knows, it's a very popular item on our menu. So I'm like the only one who's not eating it, obviously. Probably. If we, if we were Maybe twice a week. Others. My husband. Two times a week will be really good for you to get the maximum benefits That's of it. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really interesting. I that, mean, and guacamole. And I guacamole. Have to give a, a, a plug for Taco yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> there, there you go. go. I love there you that. Go. You know, and so, the, I mean, there are also supplements of omega-3 fatty acids, and those are effective in still providing your body with mm -hmm. the omega-3 fatty acids. However, salmon does more because you're also getting protein. Right. Protein is critical for older adults because it helps you maintain your muscle mass as you age in place. It's really good for skin protection, keeping your skin nice and strong. Mm -hmm. um, as we get older, our skin can become a little bit more fragile, easier to rip, easier to bruise. Protein is a really good way to keep it nice and strong. Uh, well, that's good to know. Yeah, and then of course, again, the brain ha the brain functioning. So just there's only benefiting from it. So that's great. Good. And going along with you know, there's there's a few other activities we're doing this month for yes. heart healthy. Uh -huh. One of them is coming up next Monday. We're going to make a little plug for it. Um, so go ahead. Yeah, February 10th. So that's this upcoming Monday. Mm -hmm. We are doing a my nutrition class in the Village Square Theater at two o'clock. It lasts probably a little under an hour, but we are there to ask questions. We have an open question and answer section at the very end. So for those who don't know, what is My Nutrition? So My Nutrition is a website available to everyone at Greenspring and Erickson, actually. Uh, and it, you can see what is being uh, served in your venues, mm -hmm. and you can select them to view the, the nutrition content. So if you want to so count your calories, if you want to... Sal salmon, I could go on My Nutrition, yes. and based on the recipe here, Yes. It would have been. It'll calculate your, the per serving size, how much sodium you're getting, your protein, your carbs, 
uh, calories. So this is a really the same thing you see on the label. Absolutely, on the box. It's, and absolutely. It's very beneficial for residents who are trying to control a medical condition such as diabetes, because you can count your right. carbohydrates. Right. Someone who you know doesn't want to gain any weight, you can count your calories. Um, somebody who's watching their cholesterol, someone who's watching their sodium. It's just a tool that is provided to the residents. It's not required that and you, you can use pull it. it up easily on any computer. And yes. it's and it's available on the Ericsson app. So if you're right. walking around and you're sitting down, you're like, oh, I forgot to look today mm -hmm. when I was home. On I can pull Ericsson. it up. It's also printer friendly. Printer friendly. So you right. can print up either for the day, for the week. Mm -hmm. If you want to look at, oh, I'm going to plan my meals mm -hmm. for you know whatever amount of period you want. It goes seven days out. And like Mary said, you can pick and choose. Mm -hmm. It also has filters for the main allergens. Mm -hmm. So, or, you know, if flour, dairy, eggs, nuts. Um, so you can yeah, find soy. what's safe for you to eat. Absolutely. Correct, and it'll filter those out. Yeah. So, and so what we do is we just, we have a PowerPoint, but we show residents how to use it because, you know, sometimes technology isn't necessarily just something you instantly get right off right. the bat. And so we can, we'll just show you the many functions that you can do to only help you and empower you to make sure. nutritious decisions while also still enjoying all the great tastes of green So spring. this class is going to be on the 10th? Yes. And where? Village Square Theater. You do not have to RSVP. Nope. I'm pretty sure we will just, not sell out. Just so come on please by. come. Just we, come we, say we, hi. Listen, I think it's a great period because we talk about, we, we do talk in detail about my nutrition, but there'll be questions asked about dining and mm -hmm. the foods we bring in and all that. So it's really like an open forum. Good. We try to stay with the program on my nutrition mm -hmm. but you know we're there to answer questions you, you right. know you have you have both myself and mary who mm -hmm. i think between the two of us we can you know cover a lot of bases and uh well here's I'm, a question here on the table we have some wine can i buy wine by the bottle here we are actually selling wine right here in woodland skies okay and i would see if you're interested in buying a bottle or Four. Okay. Uh, or four. <laughs> to, you know, to, to seek out the management team there, and they'll be, you know, very helpful and there to help you make your selection and okay. purchase. That's and good. along with wine, during the month of February, you can also buy roses in the oh. shop. So, yeah, that would be a great Valentine's Day. So I can Day. order them in either yeah. one of the shops. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Good. And that, yeah, so that's a great Valentine's Day treat. You can get a dozen for $20. That's so. good. Speaking of Valentine's, yes. we're on Valentine's Day. What you're going to see is signature dining is going to be suspended. And all the in independent living dining rooms, and I think in Garden Ridge as well, are going to be providing a special Valentine's Day menu. So what I would do is look up. I know the menus are coming up, but I know they're going to mm -hmm. have them at the host desk. And if you want, ask your managers, you know, hey, what are you guys doing for Valentine's? Because... You know, the chefs really came up with some great... They've been planning it, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, they mm. came up with some great menu ideas Good. Um, that they're going to showcase. Uh, so, a signature menu will be spent. So, that's on the 14th. Correct. Yes, that's next Friday. And but on the 13th... On the 13th, we have our, quote, movie on the green. It's not going to be on the green. <laughs> we hope not. It's going to be on the carpet. <laughs> right. And, uh, again, we have a very nice menu that we've come up with for that, and... Uh, we're going to be showing a movie. There's going to be a champagne fountain, if I'm correct. I know. I, I just found that out, too. Wow. wow, that is awesome. So, yeah, it looks like there's going to be um, unlimited food from a buffet, a champagne fountain, and then also available will be a full cash bar with an assortment of beer and wine. So can this, I use my flex meal for that? Absolutely. Yes, you can. All right. And this sounds like an event that I would not want to miss. That sounds very fun. And I think it's a great movie. And also. it's flex meal yeah. plus uh, additional charge. Okay. Um, but, again, it's, it's a great night, you know, if you want to come before Valentine's Day and enjoy a great movie, a great meal, and relax, have a few cocktails. Do I need to make a reservation? Yes, yes so you, you do, do have to RSVP by this Friday, the 7th. Uh, you can RSVP at 604 Four two zero zero. Okay. So this is great because if you're in a relationship and you don't want to plan a date, we already have it planned for you. Just we got it all taken care of. Show for up. You. Everything special is done. Special desserts. <laughs> There's gonna be special Valentine desserts. We got it all taken care of. But you don't need to have a date. Carefree too. living, right? You, you know, don't have to have a date. You're right. It can yeah. be, you know. But yeah. either way, right. everything is planned for you. you can just go have a good time. That's good. And also going on this month. Uh, it's Black, Black History Month, mm -hmm. and what we're doing in all the kitchens is we are showcasing famous 
African American chefs and some of their dishes. Wow. Also, we're going to have dishes that some of our own chefs are going to be preparing mm -hmm. as well. And you'll see little bios on the chefs, and we'll be doing that through the whole month. Great. Uh, something just you know, it's new and different. You do such a good job of introducing, like with me and Sam, and introducing us to foods that we might not ever have tried. Well, mm -hmm. speaking about foods, mm -hmm. is obviously uh, the 28th, I think it's the 28th. Tuesday is uh, Mardi Gras. No, 25th is Mardi Gras. I'm sorry, 25th is Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. Okay. So again, you'll see mm. a few specials just that day celebrating Mardi Gras. Good. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the chefs, listen, I, I give it off to, give it up to them. Um, you know, our team, phenomenal. You know, um, you residents said it. Uh, again, uh, Green Spring Dining Services was, again, number, number one. one yeah. Two years in a row. Uh, Well-deserved. And, and, and listen, I give it out to the team. When you look at what we went up on 2019 with all the construction and moving mm. around and venues closed and venues open yeah. and closed again, number one team for a reason. Put them up against anybody. <laughs> Any challenge. Coming Any along, day, they're time. ready. Absolutely. But they really enjoy being creative, too, and these special days give them an opportunity yeah, to absolutely. say, and okay, I think let's it, try this. Yeah, and it gives the residents, you know, the big thing is we always hear is variety. So this kind of gives you the opportunity of variety, try something new. Sure. You know, and, and, and also, you know, get a little education as well. That's right. right. So let's let's go back to, to uh, National Heart, Heart Health Month. That's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Other things we should be doing, Mary. In addition to, to eating well, uh, salmon is good for us. What can we also add or avoid in our diet to help our hearts? So and actually just in addition to your diet, so having a good diet, um, not smoking will be a great way to help your health, uh, heart health specifically, um, routine exercise. And actually Helen, who is the other dietitian, she's gonna be on later this month with, in partnership with the fis fitness team and our employee health nurse practitioner to talk, to put it all together because oh, it's good. not just nutrition. Like sure. optimal health is not just food. Now food is a majority of it. Uh, they say that you know, if you're eating 80% well, um, you know, everything else will fall into place mm -hmm. as opposed to if you were exercising 80% but still eating a whole bunch of junk food, right. it, it wouldn't help that much. But in combination with everything, it's going to overall help your health. So they're going to be going into more detail with that. But low sodium can also help your heart, okay. um, which, and I know that everything we have here, uh, we don't add, we add pretty, salt. pretty much, well, pretty much I would say 95. There are a few res recipes, but pretty much 95% of our recipes do not have salt as an independent um, ingredient. ingredient. There may be like a low sodium base that we mm -hmm. use, but as an independent ingredient, no. And a base would be like the basis of a, For a the soup. soup, chicken, mm -hmm. okay. beef base, vegetable base. Okay. But those are low sodium. Right. Mm -hmm. So, or and, if a spice blend may have a good example is salt. we were traveling one time, we went to a restaurant and they served chicken noodle soup and my husband got some and he's like, ate it and went, oh my gosh, this is so salty. Yes. And that tells us that he had gotten used to our food here yeah. with very little salt. And we always, you know, I tell residents that's why we keep salt on the table. Because obviously some people like a little sure. more salt. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's easier to do it that way and let the residents, if they right. want to add it, yeah. add it for themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not everyone is salt sensitive relative no. to their blood pressure. So mm -hmm. no. some of us can have a little salt. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And salt's a great ingredient because uh, not as much as iodized salt, but sea salt, it enhances the other spices. When you're making a recipe, if you put salt in there, salt pulls out the flavors mm -hmm. and enhances. And some other things. You know, if you put other spices in there, it'll just enhance right. those flavors. Now you mentioned iodized salt, it, it, and iodized salt is salt that had iodine added to it because there was a time in our mm -hmm. country that people like me weren't getting enough iodine because we didn't eat fish. Mm -hmm. So iodine was added to salt. So if you see Morton salt, it's going to say iodized, iodine, yes. and that's why mm -hmm. to help your thyroid. But what about sea salt? that doesn't have that added. Uh, I think, you know, the, the more that it's in its natural state, mm -hmm. where you have like rock salt, sea salt, mm -hmm. it's better for you. It hasn't been processed as much, mm -hmm. okay. ground up. I always like cooking with sea salt. Okay. I like sea salt. Um, there's also such thing as volcanic salt. I have not used that actually. Yeah. Before. Where Maybe did it come from? Hawaii. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah, and it's a very, in a raw state. It's really nice. Interesting. Um, you know, and, and also, 
We here, you can get flavored salts too. We've gotten flavored salts before. I know garlic salt, but I yeah, guess well, there would be others. But they're infused with different flavors uh -huh. that we've used them before for events. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we can do a whole show on salt. Yeah, they, they, but if you're a resident who really does not want to have salt, but you still want to add more flavor, we do have Mrs. Dash as well, or that is available. Yes, at the little packets store. on the tables. And that's just a mixture of spices that don't are low in sodium or don't have sodium at all. You can add to any dish that you may want, mm -hmm. and just create a little bit more flavor for you. Yeah, so, that makes sense. Yeah. So right. yeah, I mean, I think we have a lot going on. We do. Month. We have a busy month coming up. Lots of special things yeah. to do. We invite our viewers to get out of your apartments, get out and try some different foods on, mm -hmm. when we're looking at Black History Month and enjoy the Valentine's Day programs. And, and uh, on Valentine's Day, I think there's a Valentine's Day party also that maybe we'll have some snacks with that. It's on, there's a it's on Valentine's Day. The lobby treats. Oh, the lobby treats are coming up too. That is on the 18th. And what kind of lobby treats are we going to have? Do we know? Um, I think we haven't set that up yet, but um, it'll probably be something more geared toward the month, heart healthy. Okay. So I would, yeah. Good. Well, I think actually, no, for this one, what we're doing, do because Black it's Black History, History Month, month um, George Washington Carver, that we're going to, you know, um, I guess, um, do a special on, that we'll do something with peanuts and sense. That'd be good. And since there are people who are allergic reactions to peanuts, there'll be a secondary item that we'll be sure. um, providing okay. as well. Yeah. But in honor of George Washington Carver, we're going to, you know, specialize on peanuts. Good. And pe maybe you know, peanut butter cookies or something in that nature. Sounds good. Sounds like a good reason to, mm -hmm. in the middle of the day, to get walk out through the lobby and, and get a little snack. It. Right. Good. Well, they're telling us we have two minutes left, and I still have some announcements to make. Thank you so much no, thank you. for coming yeah. today, showing us how to cook salmon, introducing me to salmon. Yes, that was yes. exciting. We can move forward. It looks really yummy. So eat salmon.